today we're going to read H is for Hoosier, an Indiana alphabet, written by Cynthia Reynolds and illustrated by Bruce Langton. A begins the alphabet and the word Amish too, you know. The Amish live like farmers did 200 years ago. Horses pull the plows as they till the ground and horses pull their wagons too all around the town. Did you know that Amish live and work the way people did in Indiana's early years? Without electricity, telephones, and cars, Amish use horses to pull their plows, wagons, and carriages. There are many Amish who live in Allen County. B is for basketball, a sport for Hoosiers short or tall. They pass and play and dribble and dunk into the hoop where the orange ball is sunk. The high school basketball state championship is the premier sporting event in Indiana. Southside High School has won two state championships in the event's history. Does your family attend basketball games? Cardinal starts with the letter C. Our state bird whistles cheerfully. You'll know him by his bright coat of red from the tip of his tail to the top of his head. Cardinals live in Indiana year round. Males are bright red while females aren't as brightly colored, allowing them to blend into the trees and sit on their eggs. Do you see cardinals where you live? D stands for the Indiana Dunes. Along Lake Michigan's shores they glisten. Singing sands are what you'll hear if you just walk and listen. Indiana's dunes cover 15,000 acres on the southern shore of Lake Michigan. They were created thousands of years ago by glaciers in the last ice age. Explorer begins with the letter E. Explorers came from across the sea. Searching for gold treasures and glory, their adventures make an exciting story. French explorers like Sierre de La Salle explored in northern Indiana in the 1600s looking for a water route to the Pacific Ocean. In 1803, American explorers Lewis and Clark met in Clarksville, Indiana to prepare for their expedition through the American Northwest. F salutes our flag, waving free, around the torch symbolizing liberty. Circles of stars fly across the blue sky. The flag's torch represents liberty and enlightenment. The 13 outer stars represent the original colonies. The five stars inside the circle represent the next five states to join the U.S. The 19th star above the torch represents Indiana, the 19th state. G greets Grissom Air Museum and the astronaut with the same name. He was the second American to fly so high in outer space he gained his fame. The Grissom Air Museum in Peru is named after Hoosier Gus Grissom, who became the second American and first Hoosier in outer space in 1961. Did you know that H is for Hoosier? What is a Hoosier, you may ask? There are many I different ideas, so giving an answer is a difficult task. No one knows exactly why people from Indiana are called Hoosiers. Some say it sounds like a slang expression for who's here. Some say the name was taken from Kentucky businessman named Samuel Hoosier, who liked to hire workers from Indiana, but no one knows for sure. I stands tall for Indianapolis, the capital of our state. This is where rules and laws are made that make our state so great. Indianapolis became the state's capital in 1825. Founders moved it from Corridon in the south because it was more centrally located. Indianapolis is the state's largest city with over 820,000 people. Fort Wayne is the second largest city with over 250,000 people. Jonathan Jennings starts with J. Our first governor, the history books say, helped choose our capital and write our laws. He made Indiana's statehood his special cause. Because of Jonathan Jennings' effort, any Indiana officially became a state on December 11, 1816. Jennings County in southeastern Indiana is named after him. Kokomo carries the letter K. This city's name is fun to say. People came here from near and far to see Elwood Haynes drive his gas-powered car. Kokomo is best known for hosting one of the first trials of the gasoline-powered automobile by Elwood Haynes in 1894. 
Indiana became a place where lots of early cars were made, like Studebakers and Duesenbergs. L is for Abraham Lincoln, a hero to his countrymen. Honest Abe freed the slaves. Although born in Kentucky, Lincoln moved to Indiana when he was seven years old and lived here until he was 21. President during the Civil War from 1861 to 1865, Lincoln led our country through one of its greatest conflicts. M is for Motor Speedway, a, the place to be on Memorial Day, when fast cars race around the track 200 times before they come back. Indianapolis Motor Speedway hosts the Indianapolis 500 every May. It's the world's oldest, biggest, and most famous auto race. The first race was in 1911, and over 300,000 people attended the event every year. Natives and name both begin with N. Our natives who gave us our name fished and hunted in the land of Indians long before explorers and pioneers came. Indiana means land of the Indians. Miami, Shawnee, and Kikianga Middle Schools are all named after Native American tribes and their villages that have history in the area that is now Fort Wayne. O is for a river called Ohio. Along Indiana's southern border, its waters flow. Voyagers hunted animals here long ago, and pioneers crossed the river in sunshine, rain, and snow. The Ohio River makes up Indiana's southern border with Kentucky and flows into the Mississippi River at the southern tip of Illinois. Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Louisville, and Evansville all sit on the Ohio River. Have you ever crossed the Ohio River? P is for peony, which gives us one of the spring's sweetest smells. Kneel on your knee, sniff and see the flowers colored in scarlet and pastels. The peony is Indiana state flower. It can be different shades ranging from red, pink, and purple to white and yellow. Many peonies grow in Indiana. Are there anywhere you live? Quail starts with the letter Q. This vice president is a Hoosier too. Dan Quayle's museum shows his world view and honors all other vice presidents too. Dan Quayle was vice president from 1989 to 1993. Vice President Mike Pence is also from Indiana. Indiana has sent six vice presidents to Washington, D.C., but only one Hoosier has ever been president, Benjamin Harrison from 1889 to 1893. Mr. Riley's name begins with R. In olden times, with his rhymes, his, this Hoosier poet was a superstar. James Whitcomb Riley was a famous Hoosier poet. His poems are the inspiration for the old comic strip Little Orphan Annie and Raggedy Ann and Andy Dolls. Ernie Pyle, Booth Tarkington, and Kurt Vonnegut are also famous Hoosier writers. Ready for the next letter? The alphabet gets better and better. S sits at the head of the word school. In olden days, schools taught the golden rule. Reading, writing, arithmetic were practiced on slates, and students memorized poems and important dates. The first school buildings were actually log cabins built by parents of local school children. One teacher taught children of all ages in the same classroom. Children would have to miss school if they had to work on the farm. Fort Wayne Community Schools was founded in 1857. The next letter we see is T. T stands tall for the tulip tree. Named for its yellow tulip-shaped flowers, the tree grows big, so you can play in its shade for hours. The tulip tree is Indiana State tree. It can grow up to 200 feet tall and be 10 feet thick at its base. Its flowers resemble yellow tulips. Have you ever seen one? Underground Railroad starts with U. As you can see, the railroad transported slaves to liberty. Without whistles or tracks or smoky smokestacks, the train was a chain of people helping others to be free. During the 1800s, the Underground Railroad helped slaves escape from the South to the freedom of the North. Indiana was especially active in the Underground Railroad because nearby Kentucky was a slave state while Indiana was a free state. Read all about it. The Vincennes begins with V, home of our first newspaper and first public library. In southern Indiana, Vincennes was a French trading post in the 1700s and the site of an important American victory 
by George Rogers Clark over the British during the Revolutionary War. Have you ever been to Vincennes? W stands for Wyandotte Cave, explored by people who are brave. In passages far below the ground, stalactites and stalagmites can be found. Wyandotte Cave is made of limestone, which is our state stone. Our state capitol building in Indianapolis and other government buildings, many university buildings, national landmarks, and even Yankee Stadium in New York are all partially made with limestone from Indiana. X is found at crossings on roads across our state. Crossroads of America, this motto fits just great. Indiana has over 92,000 miles of road and over 4,000 miles of railroad track, making Indiana the Crossroads of America, which is our state slogan. It was even included on our state quarter in 2002. Y is for yellow, a mellow yellow, the color in which farmers' fields are dressed during Indiana's autumn harvest when corn and soy crops are at their best. Indiana has over 56,000 farms. Our top products are corn, soybeans, meat animals, poultry and eggs, and dairy. Have you ever been to a farm? And now, last but not least, Zionsville begins with C. In this small, charming village, Hoosiers gathered to see President Lincoln on his way to Washington, D.C. Zionsville is near Indianapolis. In 1861, after he was elected president, Abraham Lincoln's train stopped in Zionsville so he could meet with its citizens on his way to Washington, D.C. December 11th is Indiana Statehood Day. Happy birthday, Indiana. I am Mrs. Akery. Thank you for watching.